So today I will be making my dream NBA 2K24 builds and I will be explaining all of the new information on badges and the builder for NBA 2K24. So how this is going to work is I'm going to explain how the badges and the builds are going to be with the info that we know of. And then I'm going to be making and showing you guys my two dream slash ideal builds for NBA 2K24. Also, almost 98% of you guys who watch me every single day are not subscribed and we're trying to hit 2,000 subs before NBA 2K24. It seems impossible but with your guys' help I think we can hit it. But if you're new, subscribe because it helps me out a lot and you can always unsubscribe later. Okay, so getting into the info that we know of for the NBA 2K24 builder, start off at the time of recording this video, there is sadly not an NBA 2K24 demo that we know of. But when I am recording this video, the 2K community day is today, so we'll be talking about those clips and info later on in the video. So first, the next gen builder and the current gen builder are way different. Sorry current gen, but if you did not like NBA 2K23's builder, then you're out of luck because current gen is going to have the same builder as NBA 2K23, which means there might be some overpowered builds on there that will not be on next gen. Speaking of next gen, next gen will have a completely new build system that we would talk about a little bit later, explained perfectly by Uncle Demi stating the true skill gap will emerge when a player creates a balanced build so good it's dubbed as a demigod, managing to achieve what others can through tireless dedication. This shows that the next gen builder will be way more, way more balanced than it was this year, and people will have to be way more skilled to win games and get good because rim running and overpowered demigod builds will not be a thing next year. But with this upcoming info that I'm about to talk about, I have almost all of the important information that was released today. And at the time of the recording, a lot of information is being released. So if I miss some info, I'm sorry. So now that community day is today, creators showed that they can't release any info before the 30th of August. So we're going to have to wait for that. But we did get some builder news from Ronnie and NBA 2K themselves. And it was a couple screenshots. So right here is the builder screenshot. It looks a little different from this year's build. Builder. They have tier badges on the right side with two new badges. These two new badges that we can see are 94 feet, which allows the defender to harass slash bother the dribbler in the backcourt. Also, we have fast feet, which is a little similar, but it allows the defender to stay in front of the dribbler or person with the ball. How I would explain this is quick for step, but for defense. A bunch of other badges were added. There are four new important badges that NBA 2K released videos on, which were bulldozer, which is essentially just bully, but it makes your my player a force to be reckoned with improving your ability to create contact and get to the rim on layup attempts speed booster which speeds up the explosive moods when attacking from the perimeter which is pretty much speed boosting but for a badge two step which is perfect for fancy finishers out there improving your ability to euro step and cradle layups or dunk precision dunker finish with authority with the new badge which improves your ability to make skilled dunks pretty much how i would explain this badge is green machine but for dunks the rest of the badges that were added, I'll put on the screen right now. I won't read all those badges, but if you want, you could pause and read them right now. But the ones that I really like for guards are speed booster, open looks, and spot finders. Also, a bunch of badges got removed, stated by Job Bridgeford on Twitter, which were Limitless Takeoff, Bully, Clamp Breaker, Menace, Mismatch Expert, Quick First Step, Vince Grip, Amped, Clutch Shooter, Floor General, and Volume Shooter. They also mentioned that you can lose badges, stating, however, as your badge will never drop below bronze, like riding a bike. If a badge drops below a level you once had, regaining that level takes less time than it did the first time around. If you don't want your badges to drop, 2k released floor setters, which are powerful prizes that are earned via season XP and they're included in the free battle pass each season. These are 18 floor setter slots in total, 9 for silver and 9 for gold. Adding a floor setter to a badge will prevent the badge from ever dropping below the listed badge level. Meaning if I add a floor setter to a badge that's silver and its ability to go up to Hall of Fame, I could go all the way up to Hall of Fame or all the way down to Silver, but it will never go down beyond Silver. Also on the topic of badges and how to upgrade them, NBA 2K released something called Performance Multipliers which are prizes that unlike badge perks provide benefits to all of your equipped badges at once. So as long as challenges for multipliers are met in their respective mode each, each of the three performance multipliers has four versions, NBA City, The Rec, and Pro-Am for a total of 12 multipliers. The three multipliers that are sh that were shown for a grade A student, in games finished with a high teammate grade, badge level progression is accelerated for all equipped badges, winner takes all, in games finished with a win, badge level progression is accelerated for all equipped badges, and up 
up for the challenge and games played against tough opponents, badge level progressions is accelerated for all equipped badges. Now getting to this builder. The attributes spread out wise looks very similar. I'm pretty sure this is the next gen builder just because the tiered badges which are on the right and I'm pretty sure next gen only has the tiered badges. NBA 2K on Twitter spoke about the builder and this is what it states. NBA 2K24 brings many changes and improvements to my player builder to ensure this is the best builder ever created. A whole new badge progression system to my career and the city next gen only. 24 new badges for Kobe. 77 total badges and they state that you will want to build your my player that fits your playstyle just because like we said before your badges can go up and down and your badges are pretty much earned on the way you play. So this once again shows that the NBA 2K24 builder will be well balanced and more fitting to everybody's playstyle which means no more demigods, no more meta builds and hopefully it is going to be a fun year. I heard that builds from 2K20 will be good this year so with the new defense badges and other things that we have seen I'm predicting locks inside bigs and two ways will be overpowered in NBA 2K24. But let me know in the comments down below what builds do you think are going to be overpowered next year and what info are you most excited about for next year but with all that information now it's time for me to hop into the builder and I'm going to build two of my dream slash ideal build for NBA 2K24 um obviously takeover won't be a thing next year and a lot of other things won't be a thing next year so I won't be explaining the badges because they're going to be way different I'm not going to worry about the takeovers but I am going to worry about the attributes and the heights and all that so yeah let's get into these builds all right so starting off with the first build I'm going to go for a two-way type build both of these builds are kind of like the two-way route but with different heights and different main attributes so obviously our position is going to be point guard we're going to be right-handed and our jersey number 31 with our height we're going to go up to 65 our weight is going to go down to 190 our wingspan is going to go up to 72 and we are going to be compact all right so right here we're going to start upgrading the main attributes and everything that we really want to be upgraded first meaning three point i know a lot of people said you could shoot with the 75 three pointer this year if you're good me personally i'm not good so i'm gonna go for the 83 point next as you guys may have seen the drill moves this year are going to be required at a higher ball handle which means steve francis is going to be all the way up to a 95 ball handle and you know if you're a guard and you're a build that wants to dribble a lot you are going to need steve francis which sadly means i'm going to upgrade my ball handle to a 95 after this we're going to go down to the physicals my stamina i'm going to start with my stamina which i'm going to do at a 95 my speed is going to be a 90 and my acceleration is going to be a 91. My strength I'm going to max out just because I want a lot of defense on this build and strength is going to be needed next year. As well as my vertical I'm going to upgrade to a 70. Just a quick little thing I, I forgot to add in playmaking, speed with ball is going to be an 8. Alright, now that we're done with our playmaking, shooting, and physical, it's time to upgrade this defense just because a 2A needs to have some defense. So interior defense we're going to max out at a 66, perimeter defense we're going to upgrade to an 80, our steel we're going to upgrade to a 70. Block, we're going to upgrade to a 50. Our offensive rebound is going to stay at a 25. And our defensive rebound is going to stay at a 36. We're at a 96 overall, and I don't have much to upgrade anymore. Uh, right now, we're looking at 10, 19, 14, 5 with very good physicals. The reason why I upgraded my vertical to a 70 is because I'm going to upgrade my driving dunk just a little bit, driving dunk to an 85, just so I get some dunk animation, just in case I'm able to dunk next year. Not because of rim running or anything like that, just because I might be able to get some combat contact animations. Next, just to upgrade a couple extra things, our mid-range is going to go to a 70. So with what we could upgrade, I'm not going to upgrade my free throw. I am going to upgrade my pass accuracy plus two. So now we're at 12, 16, 20, 10. And now I kind of have to upgrade my free throw. And yeah, that's pretty much it right here with the first build. 12, 16, 20, 10 with the physicals, which are pretty good. Um, After this, we're going to go to my takes, which don't really matter. I'm just going to put finishing and shooting take. But yeah, once I finish the build, the build is going to be called a three-point shot creator, which is similar to Lonzo Ball. Um, I think this build is going to be pretty decent. I think this build is going to be pretty decent just because of the two ways it might be back this year. So I'm hoping that this build is going to be good, but we're going to go on to our second build of today. All right, to start it off, the first page is going to be the exact same, meaning point guard, right hand, and the jersey number does not matter. For the height, we're going to go down to 6'3". Next, we're going to lower our weight to 190, and our wingspan is going to be up to 7. Our body shape does not matter, but we're going to go compact. Next, for our upgrades, we're going to pretty much do the same thing. We're going to upgrade the main attributes of the build, and then we're going to focus on the other one. So first, we're going to upgrade the 
ball, the three point shot to an 80. Obviously, like I said before, I'm going for the 80 three point this year. My mid range is going to stay at an 80 as well. This is more of a guard build with a little bit of defense. It's it's going to be spread out evenly across throughout the build. But I'm, I'm looking more towards a shooting and playmaking build for this one. Like I said before, ball handle is going to have to be way up this year, which I'm going to do at a 95. And the speed with ball is going to be an 85. I heard that speed with ball is going to be very important next year as well as pass accuracy. So those are going to have to be decently high. Pass accuracy is going to be upgraded to an 80. Shows that pretty much our main attributes are shooting and playmaking, which means we can't upgrade a lot more for the other attributes outside of physicals. Physicals, we're going to go stamina at a 99. Our speed is going to be upgraded to a 95. And our acceleration is going to be a 92. Our strength, we're going to upgrade just a little bit, just because I know we're going to want some defense on this build. We're going to be done with our finishing first. So we're going to just upgrade our driving layup to an 85 and our close shot to an 80. Next, our interior defense is going to be upgraded to a 63. Perimeter defense is going to be an 80. Our steel is going to be upgraded to a 75. And last but not least, defensive rebound to 36. We do have some extra attributes, I'm pretty sure. We're going to put a little bit on strength with 60. And our free throw, we're going to upgrade the rest on that. So for this build right here, we're going to we're going 12, 20, 25, 13 with very good physicals. I know this might not be that realistic next year, but if I had to go for the best build, I might go with this one because it's very balanced throughout the whole build. Obviously more obviously more playmaking shooting than finishing at defense, but it is going to be a guard type build. Obviously for our takeovers, it won't matter. We're going spot up shooting and playmaking. But yeah, that will be it for the builds. But yeah, that will be it for my dream slash ideal builds for next year. Let me know what you guys think of the builder and the and the badge system next year. Uh, is there anything you don't like about it? Is there anything that you really like about it? I'm hoping next year is going to be a fair game and it's not going to be like this year with the overpowered 6 nines or the demigod 6 one build. Um, I'm hoping that the game is good and I'm hoping that the game revives the 2k community. I see a lot of big creators coming out for 2k24 and I'm hoping that they come back and the game becomes more fun again. But let me know what you guys are most excited for NBA 2k24 in the comments down below. If you guys want to check out my last video, I brought S.Go to NBA 2k23. It's going to be on the screen right now. Like the video and subscribe, turn on post notifications. We're trying to get 2,000 subs before 2k24 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.